Good morning, my name is Stephen Stout. I'm a pre-sales consultant working for IDERA. Today we're going to have a short video just to look at the feature of setting up uh, thresholds for alerts and setting up the baselines related to them. So to start with, how we can set up the actual baselines themselves. If you come in here to the properties, you'll see all the properties related to a specific instance. Today we're just going to look at the baseline, and this will take us in directly to the properties page looking at the specific area of interest. Now there's a variety of ways you can actually set baselines within Adira. You can get it to automatically calculate the dynamic baselines based on the last seven days worth of collected data, and this is the normal way that most of our clients do it. You can, if you wish, by the way, use a specific date range if you know you have a representative set of data that will be appropriate. And then within the baselines, you have the, the default baseline. This is the one that is used for most situations, where, as you can see here, I've got it set Monday to Friday during the working day. But then I can also create additional baselines, uh, looking at different time ranges or different uh, dates, um, different days. And that can be very useful if you've got, perhaps, OLTP action happening during the middle of the day and then in the evening you've got decision support reports and things which are creating very different loads on your system and you actually want to use or collect the information and give you yourself baselines based on the different characteristics of those two types of uh, workload. When you want to create the new baseline you can literally just click on here give the baseline a name and a date rate, time, day and time range and then add it into the system. And here's an example for where I've actually created uh, uh, evenings during the weekday, working from 5 to just about 10 past 11 in the evening. Having created those baselines, then we can actually see how you use them. So if I come to look at the an instance itself and go there to configure alerts, and this is actually how we're setting up what we want to alert on for this instance and setting the thresholds for that. So as you can see, as before, there are a wide range of things that IDERA can actually um, alert off, or alert on rather. One of those I'm just going to use today is in the resources area, and we're looking at the OS memory usage. So using the traditional way that IDERA would look at this sort of information, this is actually showing me that I've got two levels of threshold set. I've currently got it set to a an unrealistic threshold for my warning of 20% and I can easily just kind of drag and drop that around to set the threshold as I would see appropriate or I could type the value in here. But you may notice that beneath the line we have this green hatched area here. This is actually telling me what the baseline is for this metric and it's somewhere between 70 and 85. And that is the baseline, the default baseline as calculated when we saw um, on the settings a few moments ago. The other very useful thing down here is this baseline threshold enabled as a percentage. And what this is then saying is we want the tr threshold to trip based on a certain percentage of what the baseline value is at the point in time when we are actually comparing the metric. So if I collect this metric, let's say in the middle of the day, I'm going to compare it against whatever the baseline value is for the middle of the day range, so that's my default in this context. Whereas if this metric is being collected, let's say at 7 o'clock at night in the middle of um, our report run, then maybe I want to actually compare this against what is normal for the baseline value at that time of day. So what this will actually do is then trigger me a warning if I'm at 100% of whatever the baseline value is for that point in time. And similarly, I've got down here that if it's 120% of what is normal at that period of time, then I want to trigger this alert.